Okay, here we go. Now, let's start again, shall we? And let me close that out. And let me go back into here. And let me go back to there. So we, we have a pretty good idea of how to find things, create things, and put them into our wiki. Today, with Pinterest, it is no different from any other things that we've done, except yesterday when we did the RSSs, we had to go and actually jump through a different hoop to put the RSS feeds into our wiki. With Pinterest, you are putting in the boards that you create in Pinterest. And you'll see my Pinterest account here in just a second, and it's all over the map. I mean, I've got all kinds of stuff. And that's why I dearly, dearly love Pinterest. Um, in the past, I used to teach this with another um, curation app called Scoopit, S-C-O-O-P dot I-T. I liked Scoopit. I still have a Scoopit account. But Scoopit was like a magazine. So every day I would get in my inbox, you know, an email that said, your scoop it is ready for today. And I would drop in and look at it. But because it was restricted to what a web page looked like, acted like, it was still you were clicking on things and kind of plowing through things and so on. Pinterest kind of took the, its cue from another web 2.0 app, curation app, called Digo. D-I-I-G-O, and what they did with it was, it was you could have a little uh, extension that you put into your browser, and every time something came up that you had looked for, you'd get a little ding at the top of your screen. Well, Pinterest can do the same thing. If you put a Pinterest extension into your Firefox, into your Chrome, I'm not sure about Internet Explorer, and into your Safari, um, when you are in websites uh, that you're wandering around in, you'll see a little pin icon appear at the top. And if that is something you're interested in, you can click on it. It will pin it to your Pinterest. But Pinterest uses a different metaphor than did the other two. And I'm going to go show you right now. Now, be aware that my Pinterest account is quite the eclectic account, so don't get upset with me. You'll notice, though, that I do have quite a few technology-related things. And as you can see, what happens is, is when you start finding things out there, in other words, you're, we're going to go search here in just a second. What it will do is it will give you recommendations back. And that's what you're seeing right now. And so you can see right off the bat, Steve has an interesting look about him. For some reason, he's getting Amazon's hidden discounts. You know why I'm getting that, because I'm an Amazon shopper. You see lots of technology things, especially around Google Classroom because I really went whole hog into finding things about Google Classroom and sharing it with people. Um, you do get kind of ad things. Again, it depends upon where you've gone. This is a, these, some of these are just it's astounding, just wonderful stuff. Uh, and you can see the bariatric surgery is showing up here with, um, and I don't know why I have jalapeno popper dogs. I have no idea. And I have no idea why I have that or that. Uh, what did people eat in the 1800s? And, you know, I kind of know where that came from. So let's go back up here to the top. And the first thing, of course, you need to do is to create yourself an account. You don't already have one. If you already have one, that's fine. Because what we can do is, which is what I'm going to do here in just a second, I'm going to go in and I'm going to find boards that I want to share. And then I'm going to put those into 
my wiki space. So, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me go up here and do a search. Horny in boots. Well, that's that's really nice. So let's do a S T E M STEM. <clears throat> and here we are. Now you'll notice that once I've done that kind of search, what it does for me is it basically lets me see things that are related. And it does it with these nice uh, tabs across the top here. And you click and you keep going and you keep going. Very nicely, very simply done. I'm making sure about all these new dots they've added. I want to make sure, okay, I can send messages to people. Here are all my notifications that I've gotten. So let's say uh, awesome STEM challenges. I want to look at that. Read it. If it's something that I like, I can save it. And then it asks me which of my boards that I have created do I want to save it to? Well, obviously it's STEM learning, so I go ahead and click the save. That is how it essentially works. Now, how do we get started with making boards? You click on the little thing up there that says all pins, you come down here to boards. And you are now in a board, you're in, in all the listings of my boards. And if I want to create, I don't know why I keep doing that. It should be right here where I create my new board. That's my messages. I love it when they change things. These are boards that I can follow and they'll appear in my Pinterest. So if I want to follow that board, I can. I can follow that board. I can follow that board. So someone's already done the work for me, so I don't have to do it. So I go home. And here are the boards that I have been following. Here are the various uh, sites that recognize that board somebody wants me to log into a pocket account i don't want to do that thank you very much it's that simple guys and i'll say uh, i see you're using a pocket here i'll go i'll go ahead and follow that good deal okay go back home I'm going to create on my little fat face up here. You may have uh, something different. You may have the little icon looks like a head, but your name will be to the right of it. I know I'm kind of shooting all over the place here, but I kind of wanted to get you a sense of how easy it is and how deep this thing can go. But so here I am. I'm now in the boards. So I clicked on my little icon, my little face up there, and I'm now showing all the different boards that I've that I have. You can create a secret board that the only thing uh, people that can see it are yourselves. But we're going to create just a board. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Let's do Lego robotics. Since I have a interest and actually a very uh, an role in that. So I'm going to go ahead and say create Lego robotics. 
and I can add sections to this. So I might want to create a section called, um, well, I'd have to have the website for that. So let me go get it real fast. And I'm going to paste that in. So I can do sections. But you don't have to. Okay. This is strictly if you want to have a look in your organization of your boards. I'm jumping around here because I have to put a picture in. I didn't have one ready to go. That's all right. We always back to our old friend the koala so there we are so I can look down through here and see my various boards that I have created and we're looking good could change the title if I wanted to I can go and create another board. I tell you, it, it gets to be where you are working, uh, doing all kinds of wonderful stuff that you um, can get really lost inside of Pinterest. I know I do, but that's okay because it's an amazing place and I enjoy being lost inside of Pinterest. I need to get out of this uh, listing of my boards. Hello, let me out. I think my um, desktop sharing button is getting in my way. I don't want to post to Facebook. Thank you very much. I want to avoid Facebook as much as possible. Okay, let's go ahead and huh. finally, there it is. Yay! Finally, my X showed up. So once again, I've got a board that I created. I go out and I can start doing searches and adding things to my board. Save. Learning. Boom. You might also like homeschooling. Well, actually, I don't. You see what it does. It basically starts looking at what you're looking at. And then it goes, Ooh, I want that. You know, to me, this is it's like it's like if you're gone into Costco or Sam's and all of a sudden you are lost in all of the you start wandering down aisles looking at everything. That's what Pinterest reminds me of is all of a sudden I've been thrown into the Sam's or the Costco's of um, the internet and I am going around looking at things. I think I already have this one. Let me see. It'll tell you by the way. Oh, you notice the link here that says you can visit it. And I'm going to throw it into my STEM learning. Ooh, let's go look at that. So here's a board that someone has out there. And yeah, I'm going to follow that board. That looks really, really interesting. All right, how do I could sit here all morning and do this? Oh, okay, I got to grab that. <laughs> it gets pathetic after a while. 
That looks really cool, though. That looks really cool. So I'm going to go home. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is this is so much fun. I enjoy this so much. I'm going to go home and I'm going to look for the boards that I have created. So I'm going to go in here and go into robotics and education. And here is the results of my wandering up and down the aisles of finding all the interesting things that are in this particular board. Um, good stuff. How do I get this from here over to my PV works? Guess what guys? It's about as easy as it gets. So you're in the board. You got to the board by clicking on your icon up here next to your name and you clicked on boards and I'm going to grab this guy. And now, well, you can see that the thing that I've pinned shows up. I'm going to click on the little three dots next to the pencil and I'm going to create a widget. In creating the widget, what it's going to do eventually <laughs> is it's going to give you that same kind of code like we already know how to use. But let me show you some things. You can determine how you want it to look. Right now it's a square and you look down here and you can see what it looks like. If you want to put, and you've got to, by the way, you've got to put a, a bunch of these boards in here. I'm going to do a sidebar and see what that looks like. So as you can see, it gives you a little more space to show it in your wiki. You can do it as a header, which basically kind of scroll around in it, or you can create your own. In other words, you can decide how wide you want it, how tall you want it, and you can, it'll show you what it looks like when you get it done. I'm going to go ahead and go with header. And when I do that, what it does is it says copy and paste the code in the page where you want to add on. But remember, you have to add both lines of code. I don't know why. To me, it would be, why don't you just add the one line in with the other? But here we are. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right click and copy it. I'm going to jump over here to my PB Works. I need to make a new page. By now, you should be pros at this. And I'm going to call my new page Pinterest. I'm going to go to it. I'm going to edit it. And right where we started Monday, we are back. I'm going to go to insert HTML JavaScript. Paste it in here. Make sure to check the box. It allows JavaScripts and other potentially dangerous code here. Let's, don't worry. And then I'm going to edit. Let me get my little thing out of the way here. Next, insert plugin. Now, do not save yet. Do not save yet because you have to come back and get this next line of code. Crazy. Now I'm going to copy that and go back to my PB Works, drop down a line, insert. HTML, JavaScript, paste in that code, next, insert the plugin. Now, if I save it, what will happen is it will pop in here and it will show my board. Now, it hasn't shown up yet. That's because I'm sitting here in this very slow environment at U of L. It will. Okay. 
and that's it. Once again, it's very straightforward, very simple. Um, you start, if you've never done Pinterest before, you start with creating a board, give it a name, and then go back to the search. Search for something that is germane to the name of the board that you did and start adding. Now let's look at what the what it calls for. Because right away I can start hearing the comments and concerns out there. Create a Pinterest board. Create a Pinterest board. Does it say multiple boards? Board. Create a list of at least 10 links to resources within that board. So you're going to create one board. You're going to then find 10 resources that you save to the board. Boom. You then go through the steps of getting the code out and then putting it into your PB works. Let's do that one more time. Here's robotics and education. I'm going to come up here. I want to create the widget. I'm going to do this one in square. I'm going to grab the code. Come over here. Go to edit. We'll clean all this up. I'm going to insert HTML JavaScript. I'm going to put my code in here. Allow JavaScript to be used. Next, insert the plugin. I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab this line of code. Insert HTML JavaScript. Put it in. Allow it. Next. Insert plugin. Save. And there it is. Okay. You see what I mean about the um, choosing the different look? So this is sort of a square look, which, you know, let's see, how many do I have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So see, I've got my resources in there within the square block. It's that simple. I'm really sorry that um, these classes have been so easy and simple for you. <laughs> but remember, I warned you when we started this, this is going to be the easiest class you ever took. I'll pop back over here so that uh, if you have any questions for me, I tell you what, while we're all here, while we're all here, let's go back and deal with the GoAnimate thing. and see what's going on here. So Alex, let's try U-L-I-T-4182. All right, U-L-I-T-241. And I see what may be wrong here. I see what may be wrong here. Someone has gotten into it again. And we'll have to fix it. Fortunately, they can't change the ownership, so I'm always the owner. Let me pop back over here into my email account. 
Alex, what do you want to call this thing? Do you want, I mean, what do you want to make the password? Back to 241? I heard the boop. I'll get to it here in just a second. Okay, I will then. I'm going to go with the semester code if you're if you're cool with that. And now I've got to find my way home <laughs> with all the tabs that I have open. Yes, I see it. University of Fat Butts. Yep, someone's gotten into it. All right. I got my work cut out for me for the rest of the day. So we're going to make the new password ULIT4185 for the rest of the semester. ULIT4185. Here we go. He's back. No, he isn't back. Or maybe he is. Now I've got my work cut out. Thanks for catching that, buddy. We will take care of it. Yeah, I'll put it. I'll fix it. So, Christina, can you put the new pass? We write a paragraph for each resource. With, no, you are going to write a paragraph for the resources in total. In other words, why would you pick what you picked? So if we go back and look at mine, you know, so I picked these because of my interest in robotics and education. And I think that, and you see they're, they're live. That's what's cool about it. So if I click on it, it actually will take me somewhere. And I found, I would say, I find that the activities I have in here that have to do with kids learning to code without a computer uh, make for some really nice ways for kids to get introduced into coding. Uh, I could jump back in here and look at another one. In other words, in just one paragraph, just give a justification for why you created the board that you created and what you think are the resources that are within it that would be of interest to someone. In other words, why would I want to come to that board that you have created? Sorry, I'm kind of fixating on the fact that i got to fix everything. And I will put it in right now. Let's do that right now. Let's put in that new password. Okay, fixed. Now, don't freak out. What answer am I supposed to get, uh, Paige, about uh, live text today? 
you are in my live text. I mean, you are in my uh, U-Link, but you're not in. Yes, it has been having problems, but um, the, who was it? It was someone in another class who has the same problems that Kim does, and we got her straightened out. Yeah, it should be good. You shouldn't have any problems. Let me start cleaning up all my open tabs here. Do we have any questions about Pinterest? I know I was kind of scattershotting all over the We just had a power blip. So I'm back. I need to turn this back on, though, because...